marriage can be full of utopia and bliss, or filled with challenges and stress. But definitely, marriage is a journey. How do you handle your baggage? Experience the marriage that God always wanted you to have through the Marriage Utopia series with Stephen and Ann Butterfield. Welcome back Welcome. to Marriage Utopia. Yes. This is episode eight. So we hope and pray that you've gotten the book by now, you've answered some questions, you've been through it, and now you understand some things. And so we're going to go deeper mm -hmm. and really deeper. And so today we're going to be talking about <clears throat> after you identified those baggages, how, what's the process of handling the baggage? And so um, we're going to do that. And so we want you to know that baggage is not necessarily bad. Okay? It's just who we are. But its effect of an individual thoughts and action, it makes up th those things that a person has been doing for some time in their life, almost all of their lives, mm -hmm. these are things they've been doing. Mm -hmm. So uh, they feel like they've been doing it, and it's, so it got to be right. Mm -hmm. And so baggage are those things that dictate how you, an individual think and respond to everything. Mm -hmm. The baggages are what makes up an individual. His or her morals, behavior, mindset, and mindset, which are framed through their family traits. Uh, you know, your family, uh, uh, intellectual, alcoholic, workaholic, uh, no matter what your family trait is, those things frame you and which dictates your behavior. And so your family traits and then your, your, uh, your beliefs. You know, certain things uh, you believe, certain things you don't believe. And so uh, uh, that's what make up who you are. And then your habits, your the things that you've been doing all this, all these years, that become a habit. Mm -hmm. And so those habits, you do them because you've been doing them. Mm -hmm. And you don't think what impact it has on others. Right. Because if you've been doing all this time, you got to be right. Be right. <laughs> and so we don't think about it. And so uh, when we get... We have unresolved issues that we have identified. And I hope that while you're going through the book with us and through these lessons, that you have been identifying these things, mm -hmm. identifying your family traits, and right. see who you really are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Identifying what belief system you got. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, identifying what kind of habits you have, right. have that you right. may not want to mm -hmm. carry into the relationship. Mm -hmm. And you, you can go back and look and say, you know what, that habit... Mm -hmm. Caused me a relationship mm -hmm. some time ago. Mm -hmm. uh, that belief that I have caused me a relationship some time ago because mm -hmm. you know that's just how I believe. Mm -hmm. And so my family traits because I I, I wanted to have the last word mm -hmm. uh, uh, caused me a relationship the last time. My unresolved issues, uh, my my uh, 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 anger issues that I have mm -hmm. caused me a relationship with a good person. Uh, but because of these things, it caused me a relationship. And like we said earlier, too much baggage can cause you. Mm -hmm. Just like when you go to the airport traveling, if you have too much baggage, it's going to cost you. In a relationship, it also does the same thing. And so we want you to look at those things and see what your mm -hmm. baggage is all. Be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. Identify those things and then let your spouse or your fiance identify his or her baggages. Right, right. So then now you guys can see mm -hmm. each other for the first time naked. Just like Adam saw Eve in the garden. Mm -hmm. And he knew exactly where she came from. Mm -hmm. He said, you are bone of my bone mm -hmm. and flesh of my flesh. He knew that she, where she came from. And so he knew her background. And so to, today, while we start the process of how to handle these baggage, it takes a lot of work because it speaks about changes, the things that you've been doing all your life. That's not going to be easy. It's a process. And so now you got to know it's a process. Right. Process don't work overnight. Right, right. <laughs> it takes time for a process. 
And so uh, uh, we want you to know that it takes time for this process. So whatever your baggages are, whatever your spouse's or your fiance baggages are, now you can identify. Okay, you can say, well, um, I'm a competitive person. Mm-hmm. And he's a passive person. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't hold that against him or her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I know where they are. So now, if he if he can uh, glean some of my aggressiveness, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. assertiveness, and I can glean some of his passiveness, mm -hmm. then we become one mm -hmm. good person right down in the middle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we want you to be able to identify, take a good look at who your spouse really is mm -hmm. the person that they are and we don't want people to really change nobody mm -hmm. okay because that's witches and warlock mm -hmm. uh, 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 stuff don't change nobody but what what love does for you is love compels you to change mm -hmm. right it, you can't make the person change right. but if they right. love you and value your relationship right. they will change that's right. just like when we get saved mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost, the, the Bible say, sanctify yourself, mm -hmm. and the very God of peace will sanctify you holy. Mm -hmm. So we got to do some, some sanctifying, some cleaning up, some changing, so we can uh, express to God how much we love him. Right. And if you love God, you will change mm -hmm. the things that offends God. Right. You know, like we talked about before, if, if you are uh, 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 a jock and you never go to the mall and hang out with the, with the, with the girls or whatever in, 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 in the, uh, 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 the lunch area, and you see a girl that uh, you like, and that's where she hang out, mm -hmm. guess what? You're going to hang out where she's at. It's the same thing now, your spouse or your, your fiance, whatever, wherever they are, you want to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, uh, whatever they're doing, you want to be able to uh, 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 be there with them. Mm -hmm. And so, these same uh, attitude is going to help you when you identify what your spouse's or your fiance's baggages are. And so, then you'll be able to know, okay, that's who they really are, total person. Mm -hmm. Their family traits, yeah. their beliefs, their habits the unresolved issues they have any, mm -hmm. and how to help them to resolve those issues. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you don't want them to get in a relationship with you with an unresolved issue. Right, right. Unless you know how to manage that issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some issues you can manage. Right, right. You know, some, mm -hmm. some can be managed by uh, medication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, uh, and there are certain exercises you can do to manage mm -hmm. those things. So you want to be able to identify those things so uh, when something comes up, it won't surprise you. You'll know how to react to it, how to respond to it. And so a lot of things, a lot of times in marriages, uh, we get blindsided by stuff we're not aware of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And because of that, now we got to get in defense mode. Right, right. We're not going to be thinking about the other person. We're going to think about ourselves. Mm -hmm. Why are they doing this to me? Why are they saying that to me? Why are they doing We're going to think everything is against me. Right. But because now you know your spouse, and know that they have that unresolved issue, mm -hmm. you can now say, okay, I know they don't mean it that way. Mm -hmm. Just because of this and this happened to them, that's mm -hmm. why they're saying it, but they really don't mean it that way. And then you can have a conversation mm -hmm. and say, you know, you said so-and-so, uh, <clears throat> and it sounded like you were saying this, that person could express, oh, my dear, I didn't mean that at all. Right, I'm right. so sorry. And mm -hmm. then you can have a peaceful conversation, conversation and a great mm -hmm. relationship. Mm -hmm. So once you identify the baggages, you identify all the stuff you're made up of. Then we want you to check out the process of handling the bag. Mm -hmm. It's called intimacy. Mm -hmm. Into me you see. Mm -hmm. Like we said, naked and, naked and exposed. Intimacy. But it's a process. And we're going to tell you a little bit about the process as soon as my wife finishes telling you about intimacy and what that entails all right all right yes intimacy intimacy real intimacy uh makes us feel alive uh -huh. like we've been found yes or if someone finally took the time to mm -hmm. pierce into the depths of our soul wow. and really see us there mm -hmm. 
Until we experience true intimacy, we will feel passed over mm. and ignored. Mm. Like someone is looking right through us. Wow. You know, that seemed like that would be a kind of a bad feeling yeah, right bad there feeling, because but the real good feeling is when a person uh, feel alive because someone is paying them attention yes, and yes. being there for them yes. and taking care of them and watching out for them and all of that and showing them that they really do care. Mm -hmm. um, that's a real intimacy. And in the word of God, uh, it shows um, some intimacy as well. Uh, in uh, Genesis 2 and 24 mm -hmm. and it says therefore shall a man leave his That's father right. and his mother right. and shall cleave, cleave. unto his wife mm -hmm. and so if a wife feels like the husband is really cleaving mm -hmm. to her mm -hmm. and the mom and the dad is mm -hmm. not running the relationship That's and right. she know that they are not and mm -hmm. she know that, that, that her spouse is um really uh, paying attention to what she's saying mm -hmm. then that that that's intimacy right there mm -hmm. you know um sadly we can miss out on intimacy that can make us and another person feel known mm -hmm. when we predetermine when we predetermine what we think we should what we think we should see when we examine their life. Mm -hmm. In other words, um, when we pre predetermine, I predetermine mm -hmm. who Butterfield is before I really get to know right. who he really is. Mm -hmm. I mean, he needs to show me uh, who he is. Mm -hmm. But as you began to, uh, he began to and I began to reveal ourselves mm -hmm. uh, is true intimacy. Well, it is a baggage that don't look too good. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's baggage that is it's okay. Mm -hmm. It just that's it's just you. It's it's, it's your life. Mm -hmm. uh, so regardless uh, to um, what you may think, you got to really get to know who the person is. So. When we determine what we think we should see when we examine their life, mm -hmm. their heart, yeah. and their personality and their soul, um, when we predetermine that, it causes us to be heartbroken. Yeah. It causes us to be in conflict one with another because of the fact that we have predetermined who that person is. Mm -hmm. So when you come together, you have to come together and you have to blend in together and study each other and get to know each other to see exactly uh, who 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 they are and and who we are uh, with them. With this, with this happens when this happens, we will try to mold and make them into who we believe they should be. Mm. And love and intimacy are uh, destroyed. So when we decide who a person is when they come into our life, mm -hmm. when we decide that they are this person or that person, they have this type of personality, uh, their heart is, 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 is of a goal. And then when you come in, when you come in and you see uh, where their heart is, or you see their personality is not exactly the way that you mm -hmm. would have predetermined that mm -hmm. it would be, mm -hmm. uh, then you can be heartbroken because of that. So in the book, he is discussing with us that we should not predetermine mm -hmm. who a person is. Uh, we have to get to know that person, uh, get intimate with that person by getting to know uh, them before we can make that determination. That's why I think it is a good thing to, to I don't know whether you would call it dating, but that when you are in a relationship with someone that you do spend time with them and talk and get to know that person uh, before you get married mm -hmm. because you do not want to allow your, your, your love for each other to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. But if you predetermine who that person is before you find out who they really are, then definitely 
uh, you will uh, be hurt in that process. I want to um, say though, um, with intimacy, um, it, it doesn't, uh, I want us to understand it's not just sex. Um, we, we try to help you to understand that it's not just sex, but it is time and time that you spend with a person and how you treat that person and it's, it's what they need and you are giving it to them. Mm -hmm. It's what you need and you are getting it. Um, those are the things, um, and, and some of the things that you can do to be intimate, uh, with a person is, um, uh, giving them uh, flowers, uh, cards, uh, whatever, whatever it is that they need, uh, that is what you're going to be supplying uh, to that person. And how you're going to know what they need is by listening to them, uh, by communicating with them. And when you find out what they need, that is what you are going to be uh, presenting to them. Um, th these are some of the things that, that you need to do in order that you... Uh, would be uh, in a intimate uh, relationship. It's showing that person uh, that you love them, always being kind and truthful. Uh, one of the things that is very, um, very uh, important in a relationship is person being truth, uh, being truth uh, about what they are doing, what they are saying, and all of that, all of come, all of that come into play when you're talking about intimacy. Also. You have to trust uh, each other. All of that is dealing with intimacy. Uh, so it's very important that we don't try to mold a person to be who, who we want them to be, but allow them to be who, who they are. And if, you have, if you're a person that is waiting to get married and you haven't married that person yet and you are trying to mold them and shape them into being somebody that you want them to be because you have predetermined who they how they should be uh, how they should treat you then you need to think about that thing and go back to god and begin to discuss it with him uh so that you can come together and really really get on the right track if you are already married and you are going through some little things like this where you're not showing that true intimacy with each other, we want you to get the book, Marriage to Journey. How do you handle the baggage? And I believe that uh, look, listening to these um, uh, episodes um, and also getting the book and praying to God and letting the Holy Ghost lead you and guide you, I believe that you will be able to save your marriage and love will come in and intimacy uh, will take over. And that is what we want in marriage, that intimacy, in, intimacy uh, continues. We, don't, we do not have to lose intimacy just because we've been married for 50 years. Uh, we don't have to lose intimacy uh, just because we've been married for two years um, so, and don't know each other. Mm -hmm. So we got to learn each other. We got to have patience and uh, know that God is working through us, especially if he has put us together. Uh, then, therefore, he will work through us to bring forth that intimacy. Intimacy is very uh, important, and intimacy is the answer to handling all the baggage that each person has uh, in their life. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, you know, intimacy is two-sided. Mm hmm because in order for somebody to see in you, mm -hmm. you have to open up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right, <laughs> and allow right. them to see, see in you. everything yeah. in you. Right. And so we don't mm -hmm. want, we don't, please be careful. We don't want you to be intimate with somebody who have not made a commitment with you. There's got to be a commitment. <laughs> Make sure you got, like Beyonce say, put a ring on it. Mm -hmm. Make sure there's a commitment because mm -hmm. you don't want to go around and keep getting intimate with different people. Right. You want to make sure that this person is somebody you want to spend the rest of your life with. They have made a commitment to you. They gave you a ring. Mm -hmm. You gave them a ring. And you say, this is the one I want to marry. Now it's time to start the process mm -hmm. of being intimate. Let them see everything who you are. You know, when we're dating, I said earlier, we sent a, we sent a representative to the, to the date. Mm -hmm. You know, we sent, we sent the best version of ourselves. 
Mm-hmm. And so we we keep uh, sending that representative, sending that representative. But when you make a commitment, you need the real person to show up. Mm-hmm. Let the real McCoy mm-hmm. stand up. Mm-hmm. Let, let the real person come in and say, "Listen, this is who I am." Right. If you don't you don't like right. who I am. Right. You might as well let's say bye bye. Yeah. But this is who I am because mm-hmm. you know when you marry. It ain't mm-hmm. like you dating somebody when right. you go home and they go home. No, you go to the same place. Same place. When you snore, yeah. you gonna they gonna be right there mm-hmm. to hear you snore. Mm-hmm. When you use the bathroom, right. they gonna be they gonna see right. you right. In, in intimate yes. spaces. Right. And so mm-hmm. you wanna want to open up your heart mm-hmm. for them to see you, mm-hmm. to understand you, to see you. And then when they when you open your heart for them to see you, they need to see you. For what they see, not for what they expect to see, right. not for what they, what somebody told you, you know, you know, pe- right. what, it's, it's, it's so crazy that when we want to date somebody, we go ask somebody, somebody else about you, uh, how, how is, how is so-and-so, <laughs> she look fine, but, but tell me, tell me about, it. rather than going to the person, right. Right. And telling and asking them, you know, well, I don't want to know about you, mm-hmm. and so what we want, want y'all to do is, to go have, go to the person or have the person come to you and be open and honest. Open and honest. This is who I am. Mm-hmm. And get on my nerve when somebody do this. It get on my nerve. Let, 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 let them know. Mm-hmm. And, you, and if that's an issue that you can solve, mm-hmm. solve it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But at least you know. Right. You ain't wait two years later and then all of a sudden a person blow you like, yeah, like where did that, that come from? <laughs> You know, so get intimate, but open up yourself so somebody can see you. Mm-hmm. Don't 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 hide things in the corner. O- open up yourself, mm-hmm. and then do the same thing. Let them do the same thing for you. So, but when you look inside of them, look at their heart. Look at the intention they're trying to do. Look at what that person, that value that person. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you, it would be real intimate when somebody. See you for who you are. Mm-hmm. They ain't look at no no mm-hmm. no big na- uh, name behind your name or, or, or mm-hmm. what you don't have or what you have. Mm-hmm. They're not looking at what you have. They're looking for who you uh-huh. are. Mm-hmm. Make sure they no- look for to who you are. That's intimacy, not what you mm-hmm. got. Because mm-hmm. you're gonna lose what you got. But who you are is gonna be with you. Unless you make some behavioral changes. Mm-hmm. And so so we encourage you to make sure that you get intimate. Mm-hmm. Let's see that person for who they are without any assumptions. Mm-hmm. Without any pre, pre, uh, determined uh, ideas you have. And, let, and open up your heart. Don't, don't, don't hesitate. Mm-hmm. All they can do is say, you're not the one I want. Right. And it's good for you mm-hmm. if they do that before you get married, mm-hmm. before you get in a big relationship with mm-hmm. them. If they say uh, that's who you are, I don't want to be with mm-hmm. you. Good for both of y'all. Right, right, right. <laughs> that's a victory. That's, that's not a loss. That's yeah. a lesson. Mm-hmm. So, so don't, don't, don't ever, ever think about it. Oh, they, they, they not gonna like. Mm-hmm. You will be glad if there's something about you they don't like. Mm-hmm. Let them know now. Right, exactly. Sooner, better than later. Right. Because they want to know it now. You want to know it now. Mm-hmm. And so be open and honest. And uh, so uh, we thank God for this. And intimacy, it is a process. It is a process. And we have four steps to this. And so the next uh, section that we're going to talk about, not today, but later on, is going to be the encounter, which is one Mm-hmm. Step. Mm-hmm. The second step is submission. Mm-hmm. The third step is transformation. Mm-hmm. And the final step is becoming one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Called oneness. Mm-hmm. So look forward to these steps on intimacy. How are we going to tell you really how intimacy really, really works? Mm-hmm. And you'll be glad, glad you, did. you did. All right. Amen. Glad we'll glad. see you next time. See you next because time. utopia is the marriage that God I always wanted you to have. have. God bless. I invited the author of this book, 
Pastor Stephen Butterfield and his lovely wife, Pastor Ann, to my church to facilitate a two-day singles conference. And they incorporated this book, Marriage, The Journey, into our theme, which was Saved, Single, and Serving, now taking it to the next level in marriage. What a revolution. After two days of digesting the contents of this book and the Word of God, everyone left refreshed, rejuvenated, knowing exactly who they are in Christ Jesus. We truly recommend it. We're thankful for the class as well as the opportunity to have been able to participate with the authors of this book. Uh, great experience in the class, great experience reading the book. This is all biblically based, very inspirational, and it just lifted our whole ministry to another level and brought us even closer to each other. Class is offered again. If there is another version of the book, we will be taking apart. So if you have the opportunity, make sure you get the book and also participate in, in the, the class, class as well. Yes. It's worthwhile. Yeah. You can't go wrong.